Just two months before he died, President John F. Kennedy said, things do not just happen, they are made to happen. At the time, the president hoped that he would be the one to shape the future of the nation. But assassins' bullets in Dallas changed all of that. So when and how do we fairly assess the short life of President Kennedy? The 100th anniversary of JFK's birth provides a good opportunity to try. Time cannot fully erase the inspiration created by his public words and deeds. They altered history, and they continue to be a source of fascination for new generations who didn't live during Kennedy's presidency. In many ways, JFK's success in life was partly of birthright, predestined by the power and privilege of the Kennedy family. But his birthright was just the cornerstone of his legacy. In the spring of 1936, a young JFK's health deteriorated. He had been studying at the London School of Economics, but had to come home. They thought it might be jaundice, they thought it might be some other sort of disease, and it turned out it was Addison's disease. A journalist friend of his father's suggested the J6 Ranch in Arizona as a place where Jack and his older brother Joe could both benefit from the warm, dry air and get into shape for the fall athletic season. While they were here, they mended fences, they herded cattle, but also they worked on building the office that Jack Speed and the owner of uh, the ranch had. And they spent the whole summer on it, pretty much. And Jack liked to call it the house that Jack built, because Jack Kennedy was the one that built the house. Ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Piece by piece, Jack Kennedy constructed his own unique legacy. And this is the house that Jack built. <laughs>